Hi all, Mass from Kaiser Power Electronics here. This is part two of the uh, 250 watt LED array for my high speed uh, filming. I made these uh, five, as you saw in part one, and now I need a uh, yeah a power source for these. Um, I have a couple of uh, things that I want to try, and the first is these uh, three server power supplies from HP. These are uh, 460 watt each, so they can output 12 volts at 38 amps. So I want to um, yeah, make these with floating ground uh, and put them all in series, so I have 36 volt DC. I need a pretty tight uh, voltage regulation to not damage the LEDs. So first let's, uh, let's get uh, one of these taken apart and uh, remove all the grounding parts so we can float them in series for 36 volts. Taking the lids off, I immediately noticed that the screw count wasn't the same, so this is actually two different kinds of power supplies, which I did not see when I received them from uh, eBay, so I should have made the seller aware of that earlier and now it's too late, so I'll just have to make the best of it and hope they will work in series. There's this one. Both of them is called HSTNS and then uh, a, um, a space and then PD14 and PL14. The ratings for them are absolutely the same, the power in, power out, so there's not much difference there. Uh, if we look at the um, generic part number, it is 499250201. And this one is exactly the same, 499250, but 101. So there is a difference from yeah, 101 to 201. So what exactly, um, yeah, it, it can just be that this is different uh, OEM manufacturers of power supplies for HP, and that they deliver the same yeah, power electronics, uh, or the control board up here, it's most likely the same on older revision, but the power electronics uh, is up to the OEM supplier to uh, to build that. Um, so if we take a look at the connectors out here, it's the same interface, uh, markings uh, are the same. So I think that uh, grounding the same pins will actually boot up all three power supplies. Now making these float, uh, there's a few uh, things that you have to do. That is disconnect the uh, the ground from the, the mains input and the negative rail uh, on the output. So that includes a uh, connector from here and down to the uh, chassis. It's underneath uh, this little connector board. This is the first power up test and we can see here the first power supply makes it go to 12 volt DC. Plugging in the second goes up to 24 volt DC. And plugging in the third power supply, we are up at almost 37 volt DC as the power supplies are unloaded. Now the um, three power supplies here is put in series as can be seen here, but it's just put together with the crocodile clips as this is purely for a voltage measurement and there is no load on it. This is the first test with um, actually hooking one of the LEDs up to the power supplies. Plugging in the first. And here when I plug in the second we can actually see the LED cup just right off the uh, third power supply uh, light up its individual cells. And with the third one being plugged in we should be pretty much blinded. I just had to switch on the third on the wall there. So this is a test of all five LEDs being turned on at the same time. And I wave my hand in front of it just to make yeah, a small of a gesture and to show how bright it really is. This doesn't really make it fair compared to how bright it really is in the dark outside.
The unit has been assembled and I love the result. Handles from some old Nagi Siemens um, base station amplifiers. The old uh, tool um, plate here for mounting on a wall. The old uh, Pentium um, CPU uh, coolers. And on the inside we have the three old power supplies from uh, servers. Also used a EIC plug some switch and some other switches here, also salvage from some other junk. So overall I only spent money on buying the um, two fan controllers sitting in here um, and the LEDs and lenses itself. So let's see what this can do. It's around 8 o'clock at night. As you can see it's pretty dark outside. You can perhaps see the silhouette of uh, some large trees. Uh, I would say this tree that you can see on your left, it's about 40 to 50 meters tall, tall and maybe yeah, about the same uh, distance from here, so about 15 meters away. So let's file this baby up. It's a little raining, so we might be able to see that as well. So let's see, one LED, two, Three, four, five. Now, if that ain't some kind of daylight. Just look at that, that's awesome. That's like having your own sun. So, I really hope you enjoyed this build. So, until next time, see ya.